<coughs> Hi, this is the uh, my maths walkthrough for um, experimental probability number 384. It says up here 384. Okay, so let's uh, go to this page. All right, reading the question. New computer games being tested. Uh, the table shows the scores achieved in the first uh, test, in which 900 games. So it's the last of 900 games there. Right on the relative frequency of a score less than 600. So it's going to be out of 900 because there's 900 games. And the scores less than 600 are these three uh, numbers here, the frequencies for these three. Because that's 0 to 199, 200 to 399, 400 to 599. And then the score of 6 happens here. And that's obviously more than 600. So less than 600 are these ones. So I need to just add them up. So 137 plus 215 plus uh, 231. Uh, and I've got 583. Uh, so 583, oops, put it in the right place, would be useful, 5, 8, and 3, okay. Uh, now the second question, estimate the probability of getting a score less than 600, that's the same as this thing, okay. So relative frequency and probability are essentially the same thing. Um, we usually use relative frequency for when we do an experiment to get them, and uh, probability is a more... Um, you have a thing called a theoretical probability, like a dice in theory, each number should happen uh, one in every six times. So the probability of getting a three on a dice is one over six. Uh, so one over six is a fraction. Um, but in uh, as a practice run, if you rolled it, that probably wouldn't happen. So these two things are interchangeable. So I'm just going to put 583 there over 900 again uh, because it's the same question and those two things will be the same. Uh, the next question is, in the second test, the game is played 1,800 times. How many times in the second test would you expect to get the score less than? Remember, we just worked that out there. So what I'm going to do is get this thing. So 583, I'm going to divide it by the bottom 900, and I'm going to multiply it by how many times we've done it this time. We're doing 800 times. It turns out to be 1166. Okay? So that's all that one's going to be 1166. So we take this fraction. You can either type the fraction in and multiply it by 1,800, or the fraction just means the top divided by the bottom, and then you can multiply by the 1,800. Uh, mark it, that's okay. Next page. And uh, on the first thing, I believe that a six sided dice is biased, so we believe it's uh, not going to be fair. If, if you roll the dice 260 times, so it's going to be uh, the relative frequency, so 260 times, I'm going to have 0.1 times 260 is going to be 26. 0.15 times 260 is going to be 39. And you just use your calculator for these. Oops, I put it in the wrong place, and hopefully, if I actually jumped over. Uh, next one 0.05 times 26 is going to be. Um, that's this one, uh, 13, <coughs> just use a calculator again, uh, 0.4 times 26, so I'll just use a calculator, so I've got 0 0.4 times um, 260 uh, is 104, 104, 104, uh, the next one is going to be 0.2 times 260, uh, which will be 52, and then the last one, 0 0.1 times 260 is going to be 26. Now, if we looked at, um, so that's what we, that's what he thought it was going to be. Um, well, not, it doesn't have to be he does it. It doesn't say he did it. Uh, somebody's done it. Um, now, this is what the, has actually gone and happened. So the roll the dice, and then this is what's happened. Uh, so 26 and actually got 27. So that's not bad. 39 and 41, not bad. 13, 15, okay. That's only five away. That's only three away. That's a, that was a pretty reasonable model, I guess. Uh, those guesses. So what does it tell you? Uh, the model is reasonable. It is a biased dice. Uh, and if you were going to play a game, you would have to go away and buy new dice to play the game. All right, but the model itself is a reasonable model uh, for this experiment. Okay, and that's it for experiment and probability. And the big thing from experiment and probabilities is two things. Number one, when it says relative frequency, you can just think of what's the probability of that happening. And then once you know the probability of something happening, you multiply by the number of times you've actually done it to figure out how many you would expect to get. Okay, expected frequency. That's it. I hope uh, this has been helpful. If it has, hit like, subscribe, let your friends know. I'm here to help. Mark it. My mic is finished. See results? Hey, 100%. Bye now.